Hey, hello guys. I haven't uploaded a video in a, in a quite a time, and I want to talk a little bit about about whites and about nicks. Um, you can you have watched my videos about talking about nicks boots, and I want to talk today about these two brands and highlighting a few differences and what is my my opinion and my perspective in these two brands, which I think these uh, these two brands are just amazing. And they build a very high quality uh, boots. So, but they, let me make a um, a few differences, remark a few differences and details that are very small, but at, but at the end it makes a it makes some difference. And let me start. Well, I'm gonna start talking about the Bonnie Hunter. This this are uh, wax flesh and in the 55 last a Bonnie Hunter made by white through baker shoes and the last is the 55 and i asked to do a quarter inch lower heel trying to uh, do something similar as the h and w from nix you can watch here and they almost have the same height if not it's it's just a a, a big a little bit different in height but definitely you can see here how how it's more pronounced the the arch with the on the bonnie hunter i cannot imagine the normal height without lower the heel and this is the highest arch that i can use i have low arch foot i don't have flat but this is uh, the higher I can go in any boot. It feels really good for casual because you have a lot of support on your arch. But if I have to work 12 to 14 hours, sometimes happen that 10 to 14 hours, I will uh, take always the NYX H&W. This is uh, more comfortable to use because I don't have too many pressure on the arch. Uh, I'm not saying this have a lot of pressure, no, but you can see, I, I feel the difference on, on, on these two, two lasts, even if have the same height and, but you can see here how NYX is more subtle, more smooth the transition from the heel to, to the bamp, to the front, and you can see here is more uh, drastic, the, the change of, uh, from heel to front. So I have, I really like this one because for using casually, this push your, your, your weight to the front. So it's very natural walking with this, with this last. Um, it's a very nice last. And cosmetically, I like the dogger heel. It's, it's this, the only dogger heel that I have are from white. And I like it. I, cosmetically, I like that. For NYX, uh, this last, it gives a lot of support a lot, a lot of support during the day it's the for me it's the perfect class for me and i'm talking about low low arch uh foot right before i i turn the boot i want to uh, show you that cosmetically the white corner heel it's uh, a little bit just a little bit um, lower and you can watch it's more large it's uh, it's it's wider than the nicks this is uh, uh, some cosmetics honestly it, it doesn't change in the performance but i can tell you that i feel the difference on the heel i i feel always the difference on on the on the corner heel not sure if what if nicks i can tell you the the nicks is more rigid than the white white is rigid don't take me wrong is what is is rigid enough <laughs> a lot more rigid than any red wing and any other boot but because it finished right here you can feel it if it finished right here more or less nicks will finish a little more higher and it's i'm not sure if it's because it's shorter or it's thicker inside but it, it feels more more solid the heel it takes this heel takes honestly 
like one year to break on to get on the point that it, it gets some movement before that it's going to be very rigid for for quite a time and the white feel more flexible when i'm saying more flexible i'm not saying like it's, it's super smooth no <laughs> it's rigid but it feel it have more it's more pliable than the nyx and it gives uh, a bit more more comfort right uh, out of the box next uh i want to talk about the band these are very 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 interesting bands uh the the white is more like a rectangle and the nix is more like a semicircle and let me let me say, tell you at least my opinion this came out of the box more like a rectangle or oval so your foot you don't feel too many pressure on the sides it right out of the box you is it, it have the form of your foot of a normal foot i will say compared to nix nix always came out of the box uh more like a semicircle but on the sides you can feel more snug it's snuggy on the on the sides but as you are breaking the boot and you're stretching it start collapsing a little bit the the upper vamp and the sides it turned perfect the boot is a bit snug which is something that i like a lot it feels just right and when as you give oil and you give the treatments the lure expand and became just perfect for you it molds perfectly in your foot so you can see here already this one almost already a mold it's not that uh, semicircle as they came my foot already collapsed and expand the band and it's been feeling amazing it's just perfect but the white came out of the box more uh, breaking free which is quite nice something about the band and this is probably probably the biggest difference between these two brands i don't know about the smoke jumper about about white work leather i haven't i haven't had any seven eight ounces from white and this is for me this video is just what i have in hands to compare but when people say the difference between five and six ounces to seven and eight this is the difference this is the difference if i pitch the band you can see how next it's gonna retract it's gonna and you can see how white is gonna stay up this is a big difference and I can do this in in the five whites that I have they do the same it's not only this one I have the the black I have a black um, a black leather work leather actually and it does the same you can you can see right here the difference between six and an eight ounce leather just right here the band because this band is is, is wider it has some involvement in this stiff in this stuff how the pinch stay up but the knicks never gonna do that all the eight to ten pairs that i have not a single one does that not even the heritage leather not even the vetch 10 six ounces they don't do that but this is a big big difference another difference cosmetically is the soft toe you can see here it's very subtle to to get down and you can watch here it, it, this do the same this soft toe is it, it's gonna do the same but it's gonna retract all the time so you can see here the big difference this is a boot that I will say is already broken from factory. It came already supply, it, real, it, it came already pliable, and it's really nice for casual. Really, really nice for, for casual, being in the office, um, inside jobs. Um, it doesn't offer that many protection for work, for heavy environments, harsh environments like NYX. I think this is why this is one of the reasons of the big difference between these two brands. Nyx use a very uh, thicker leather, and I like more Nyx for work. I think it's a lot better for protecting your foot 
I, as I show you. And well, this is these are the, the main 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 difference. Another one that well it's very obvious is the, the weld. This section you can see here this is a double stitch and this one is a double stitch too and you can see the difference in these two ones. Um, whites came a little bit wider from the outsole and nicks well shorter but when walking you can feel the difference you can feel sometimes uh, because it's a quarter inch to a half inch wider from the band sometimes I um, I'm above a rock a small rock a small stone and you can feel a lot of difference and because this leather is more pliable it's, it's a lot more flexible uh, sometimes my I don't feel that protection on the ankle like I'm very uh, used to with with Nick's and I'm gonna say the same because of the heel contrary is, is a bit more flexible and Nick is more rigid. With with this Nick's I feel more comfortable and more secure. My foot if you a better lock, I have a better lock on my ankle. But this is just this is honestly my perspective. I like both. I really I really 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 like both. But this is just my, my perspective and I will say guys choose um, if I have to choose one I will choose always snakes instead of white I will choose snake for work for casual but I really like white for casual only for work it's very hard for me to, to take this boot for work because they don't have the the at least this model with this configuration it doesn't have uh, what I'm looking for um, the cosmetics and the stitching uh, I think it's more cleaner. Uh, Nyx have a cleaner look. The um, I think overall I will choose a bit more Nyx over white. This is just um, this is this doesn't mean it's better Nyx than white. It's just a perspective, in, and and this is my opinion. Uh, something that when it, it needs to be highlighted is the this boots uh, I got them from from the discount that Baker's. And the whites gave it through Bakers. It was uh, it cost me I think 480, 480, and my Nicks uh, was uh, like almost 550, 100 bucks difference. So there's a there's some difference on price, especially in in Father's Day and the Black Friday. But even with that difference in price, if I have to choose one for work, I will go with Nicks. I have to say this it's not it's not that I, I don't like whites it's just I feel more protected with whites sorry I feel more protected with Nicks this is my opinion this is only my perspective both ones have a very nice a very very good construction um, I've been using both really good you can see here uh, the heels uh, uh, it, it were the same even if I like more the V bar, this this outsole than the than the mini, uh, I think this one is more flexible, it's more pliable, and I think this one is a bit a little bit more rigid, which is really nice. It's really nice, and it's it lasts longer. I, I have I have proved that with the Red Wings, which is we use the the mini lock, but this is is is, is, is my like I said my opinion. Well, guys, uh, let me know in your comments. Which brand do you want more? Do you do you like more? Um, any reasons why? And please, uh, this is not a fight. This is not a fight at all. This is just uh, my opinion, and I hope uh, I don't create chaos by by saying by by making this video about these two great companies. These are two amazing companies in the same region. That I hope they they both last longer because it really it really it's different it's a, a higher and different footwear from most uh, from, from from the most companies in the world and people who had experienced the PNW I think they they want to come back always it's or this is just superior quality 
just uh, the best of the best. I haven't had the opportunity to buy Franks, and honestly, I think this is uh, Franks is very similar to Nick's, at least uh, in the pictures that I've been watching. So um, I, I have a stick with Whites and Nick's because these are very, they have more differences overall. And if you're looking again for something out of the box broken, Whites is, is pretty nice. And if you're looking something really more uh, tougher, robust, and more dedicated for work, uh, for work and casual, but um, it, and I'm saying work and casual because I have some Chrome Excel Heritage Line boots from NYX and those those are thicker than the whites. It's it's, it's not only this pair, uh, and even the Heritage Line is 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 mean to 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 use for work, even if if they say it's Heritage Line, you have some a lot of potential on the work side on the work line. Well, guys, thank you and have an amazing day. Let me show you the leathers because as always there's people who are looking for for these leathers. Uh, I was one of them. So this is a, brand, a cinnamon. This is a cinnamon cinnamon wax flesh. Um, it's very nice. This type of leather is uh, it surprised me a lot. This this was my first pair of wax flesh. I was expecting to be very hard a lot of people say this is tough to break but i think they mean the wax flesh from nyx because this is this can be very pliable so i'm not sure why why too many chaos about that is uh, i think for i've been using this on, on on wet locations and it's 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 nice it's a really nice boot low maintenance i can tell you the wax flesh need requires very low maintenance uh, so if you're looking at boot with very low maintenance chrome excel and wax flesh are and um, these are amazing for wet environments not waterproof but wet environments um, this is really 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 nice check out so and this is a tan teton rough out um, the color already it start darkening but this is phew, this is rough out or my my I get crazy about rough outs it's it's a leather that I just love a lot there you go guys let me show you here in the video for those looking how the rough out patina and how it looks well it looks like this so the texture, this is like a Nabok texture. I already make a bit about this one, but here we go another one, why not? Well guys, um, this is basically one of the big differences, already say the differences. Both are great. And leave your comments. I'm gonna try to make a video each, each three weeks. It's impossible to me doing each week or two, but each three to four weeks, I'm gonna make a video. Next one, I want to talk about lace to toes, and well, let's see it happens. Thank you guys, have an amazing day. Thank you for the comments. I'm super happy for all the questions that you guys made, and I'm open. You can subscribe to me on Instagram, many 3 bri many 3 number three and B-R-I, or send me an email. You can check uh, on YouTube in the section about there's my email. You're always welcome to, to send me private questions. Leave it a comment if you want to, if you wish. Have an amazing day, guys.